60 seconds. Wait, yeah. please, I got a problem with camera three. I need a Vukovic extreme plan. Okay, Woody, can you run in on that one? Are you, are you saying a Vukovic or Milikovic? Vukovic. Cookie, Vukovic. I'm gonna right. need some contestant names. Got it. Okay, one, everybody, two, uh, three, Nate, four. I need a sound check for you. Hello, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Contestants, how you doing? Welcome to our show. Why don't you tell me how many people are going to be playing this game? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, you're a single player, is that right? All right, could you give me your name, please? Uh, Lux and Bagels. Uh, can you give me one of them? He's not just one of them, he's Lux and Bagels. Okay, you want to do a seven-question game or you want 21? Uh, uh, if you're going to pass All right, if that's what you here. want, your call. 30 seconds. Okay, your buzzer is B as in uh, beer bong or, or just plain bong. Yeah, thanks. Pass the big one. Need, would he meet me outside the hall, would you? Uh, yeah. Can, Can I get a ball for the 5K, cheese? please? Yeah. Give me a bypass on 7. 20 seconds! Hey, we got 20. All right, question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer. You buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. You got that? 10 seconds. Hey, good luck. Here we go. Eight, Lose the desktop. Seven, okay, thank you. Seven, and go to black. Five, Host and standby. Five, okay, this is for real, guys. Let's go. Nice to have you here. You comfortable? Good. We're starting. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Get ready for some fun. It's question number one. Oh, yeah. The name of this category is primary colors and inappropriate teaching methods. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. For this question, let's say you're an art teacher and you want to teach your students about primary colors. You take your class into the washroom and ask them to observe as you urinate into a toilet filled with blue water. To the student's surprise, the water has turned brown, turned yellow, turned green, or remained blue. It's now green. Uh, hey teacher, can we go back to finger painting now? Okay, pick a category. Do. It's question number two. The category is We Can Work It Out. If you hand me the vice grips, this question's gonna be worth two thousand one dollar bills. TV's Ward and June Cleaver governed their family so well, I bet they would have made great politicians. If Ward said to June, let's let the beaver work his problems out for himself, what type of political theory would he be demonstrating? Laissez faire, totalitarianism, grassroots politics, or big government? Laissez-faire, it means to let them do as they choose. In other words, lay off the beef. How about it? Hit me with the category. ooh it's question number three. Here's the category. Mathematics and the People's Court. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Today on a Mathematical People's Court, the defendant says he can tell a lot about one side of a triangle by looking at the other two sides and the opposing angle. The plaintiff says he's a liar. What law is on the defendant's side? The law of triangles, the law of cosines, the law of angles, or the law of sines? That's what the law of cosines says. You know what's cool about the law of cosines? You try breaking it. Alright, come on, hit me. We need a category. You're my question for forevermore. I love you. My question for. The category behind this question is smelly student bodies. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, listen carefully. They're having student body elections at James Buchanan High. Horshack wants to get elected, so he gets Cotter to get Woodman to rearrange the voting district so that the sweat hogs are the only ones in the district in which he's running. What is this called? Red herring, gerrymandering, jurisdiction, or the electoral college? Gerrymandering. Changing political districts to favor one candidate over another. Okay, pick a category. Ain't no job, it's question 
All right, let's see what we're doing here. It's funny till someone loses an eye. The amount on the table is three grand. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Oog the caveman wants to go horseback riding, but all he's got is a prehistoric dawn horse. If he wants to ride a modern horse, he'll have to wait until it evolves into what? Equus, Horseosaurus rex, Eohippus, or Paleohippus? Equus, the genus of the modern horse. How about it? Hit me with the category. Uh-oh! Best putts fits mine, whore! It's time for a... Liquor Pitch No Scope! This gibberish questions category is... Gross Fuzzy Dogs. Five grand is the opening value for this gibberish question. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. Ready? With what song lyric does this rhyme? Skanky Poodle sent you clowns. Now, wasn't that nice of that Skanky Poodle? Here's your first hint. It's an American classic. It's an American classic involving pasta products. Last hint, it mentions a certain New York baseball team. Come on, you're down your last strike, Slim. All right, try it like this. Skinky Poodle sent you clowns, the Baywatch cast is phony. Oh! Thing I always wanted to know was, is Yankee Doodle his name or is that his hobby? All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Zaba dooba dabbin, question seven. This one's gonna be, it's still the safest way to travel. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Let's say you're flying Dork Airlines out of Seattle. You're going to Chicago O'Hare, but first you have an aggravating layover in Oklahoma City and then one in Denver. Unfortunately, your luggage gets lost in Oklahoma City. Now when you finally receive it in Chicago, what three-letter city code will be stamped on the tag hanging from your bag handle? C-H-I-D-E-N-S-E-A or O-R-D? O-R-D. The city code put on luggage refers to its final destination, and for Chicago O'Hare, it's ORD. Okay, pick a category. Wow! Light, wait, elevate, hibernate, vegetate! Next up, don't stick that there. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. Which of the following would be most likely to hit a uvula? A broom handle, a tongue depressor, a Polish farmer, or a baseball bat? A tongue depressor. The uvula, that little punching bag thing in your throat. How about it? Hit me with the category. Ooh, ooh, what's your sign? It's number nine. The category, I want to hold your comb. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Okay, get yourself set, it's time. Which hairstyle named for a household cleaning tool did the Beatles make famous? The rag shag, the mop top, the broom groom, or the toilet brush cut? The mop top. Also known as the Mo from the Three Stooges cut. Okay, pick a category. Yo, have your fit with nasty number 10. The category behind this question is blue food. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. FDNC blue dye number one, which is used to make foods a shade of blue, used to be made from what? Coal tar extract, petroleum, big juicy prunes, or bread mold. Mmm, coal tar extract. Just like mom used to make. We've got 10 questions down, and for 10 more, we're going on to round two. <laughs> now pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Let's do it. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. The name in this category is Annoying Skinny Guys. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Hang on tight, because here we go. 
Suppose Urkel is your typical 98 pound weakling. How much would he weigh in England? Two stone, five stone, seven stone, or 11 meters? Seven stone. One stone equals 14 pounds. How about it? Hit me with the category. Uh oh. Test Nut Slick Crime Store. Once again, it's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drum. The category for this gibberish question. Your tush and shrubbery. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Okay, let's see if you can untangle this one. Get yourself ready. What does this rhyme with? Hear me go pound the pole. Very tush. Here's your first hint. It's a kid's song. Okay, let's see if you know it. Type in your answer and hit return. Here we go, pound the pole, very tush, the monkey is illegal. Okay, pick a category. Black cat, heart attack, do you nightmare when you dream? Are you feeling lucky? It's number 13. Here's the category. Look, there's Uranus. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. What is a black hole? A term for all Disney movies from the 70s? A dead planet? A hole in space that has no gravity? Or a collapsed star that only emits x-rays? Collapsed stars so dense that only x-rays can escape their pole. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. The category is Opium Influence Rhymes and Those Violent Brady Kids. Uh, you're going to be pretty good if you get this one. It's worth 6000 bucks. Imagine, in a senseless act of violence and boredom, Greg Brady kills the Brady's beloved dog, Tiger. If he were punished in a way similar to the way Coleridge's Ancient Mariner was punished for his senseless crime, what would Greg have to do? Blind himself, wear Tiger around his neck, eat Tiger's heart, or be buried alive with Tiger. The Ancient Mariner killed an albatross and had to wear it around his neck. Looks like Greg's going to be wearing a tiger necklace. Groovy. How about it? Hit me with the category. Evergreen, self-esteem, beauty queen, rapture spleen. Here's question 15. This one's going to be bowel problems. I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Which is longest? The average small intestine, the average large intestine, two meters, or half a biblical rod? It's the small intestine. At an average of 21 feet, it's a good thing it's curled up. Okay, pick a category. Flush your head down the latrine. Ease your way with sour cream. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Toe jam. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Which little piggy had roast beef? The big toe, the second toe, the middle toe, or the pinky toe? The middle piggy. Unless, of course, you're from the Ozarks. Then it's the third toe out of six. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Next up, enemas and etymologies. 6,000 bucks is riding on this one. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. All right, the word enema comes from the Greek word enione, which means what? To encounter, to be an enemy, to send in, or to set free. Well, you were free to pick any answer you wanted. Too bad you picked this one. Should have picked this. To send in. Maybe you don't know what an enema is, huh? It's a special medication for your lower digestive system. Bend over and ask your doctor to give you one sometime. Okay, pick a category.
the category Warner Brothers and Military Combat. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. All right, listen carefully. Wile E. Coyote is a U.S. soldier fighting overseas in World War II. The Roadrunner is fighting for the Nazis and pushes an anvil on the coyote's head from a high cliff. Now, after army doctors pull the coyote's head out of his torso, the coyote makes a full recovery. What can he expect to receive upon his return to the U.S.? The Congressional Medal of Honor, a dishonorable discharge, a Purple Heart, or a summary court-martial? A decoration awarded to members of the armed forces wounded in action against the enemy. How about it? Hit me with a category. He's me. Oh. He's me. Oh. It's the 19. The name in this category is Freud Goes to the Movies. It's going to be worth $4,000. Tell me what Disney film might Freud analyze in the following way. Uh, das ist eine Exploration of eine feminine edible fantasy. A prepubescent girl mit einem unsuppressed ether replaces her mother. The mother tries to relieve her youth to her daughter's body. Is talking about Escape the Witch Mountain, Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, Freaky Friday or The Parent Trap? Freaky Friday where the mother and daughter change places. The daughter's scrubbing toilets and mom's out drinking beer with the football team. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Wow, honey! honey. It's question number 20! <laughs> the category is double geography. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Okay, you ready? Double your pleasure with this question. Which of these are there actually two of? North Pole, International Datelines, Equators, or Prime Meridians? The International Dateline. Yeah, I called that once, but it was like 15 bucks a minute, and all the worry was just a bunch of 18-year-old guys on the line. Now, the correct answer is not one, but two North Poles. That's right. There's the geographic pole. It's the top of the Earth, and the magnetic pole. That's what directs your compass. Okay, pick a category. Enter the attack. If you see two words together and they form a match, buzz in. $2,000 will be yours if you're right, but each time you're wrong, 2000 shall be taken away. But be not fooled. It won't be a match unless it fits this clue. I don't know what it is, but I'll buy it. But for this jack attack, you better know what it is.
you, I think of superlatives like great, amazing, fabulous, trivia geek with no social life, stuff like that. But don't thank me, because the real truth is... You don't know Jack. Excellent show, everybody. Hey, um, Cookie, uh, what are we going to do with these contestants? Uh, listen, excuse me, uh, whenever you feel like playing again, you just got to let me know, all right? Those spots are my chocolate cherry dingle duties. They turn my milk pink and tarty. Wow, let me try. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, you're dumping too fast. Now I'm all sticky. Oh, don't run away, you naughty gopher, because I just can't get enough of your nutritious choco cherry dingle duties. Hey, kids, look what I've got for you. Mr. Sticky Buddy! Yay! It's the new toy kids are going wacky over. It looks like a stick. Not just a stick, dear. It's Mr. Sticky Buddy. Sticky Buddy's my best friend. He never takes it hard. When Mom says, it's a stick, and we can have those in the front yard. But in chicken wacky things even poke your mom. Mr. Sticky Buddy! Stick not included. Uh, hey Susie, what are you doing Saturday night? You wanna go driving with me? Sorry Jimmy, but there won't be enough room in the car for you, me, and your zit! <laughs> hey Bucky Chuck! Hey that chin needs a road wreck! What'd you do, wash your face with a glove, please? <laughs> this looks like a job for new Spackney! Spackney? What gives? Spackney! It's speckle for your acne! Less colored mortar that you apply with our new neon spatulators! It's waterproof, windproof, flame retardant, and scuff resistant! Spackney, it'll smooth you out! Spackney, works better than grout! Spackney, say adios to your acne! Also available, back knee for your stubborn back acne, and for those really hard to reach places, try new crack knee! Hey, it's Chucky the Chipmunk! Get it! Whoa! Hey, you kids, quit nibbling at my head! Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Come on, Chucky! Just let us nibble on you! You're Chucktastic! No way! Try to catch me, you crazy kids! Whoa! Whoa! You crazy Chipmunk! Everyone knows that fruity chocolate corn puppies are for children, cause they're Chucktastic! Hey, kid, what you eating? Oh, just some stuff my mom made me eat. Burlap sack cereal. Supposed to be good for you. <sniffs> Yuck! Smells like crap. Give me your bowl. Try some of these. Mmm, chocolicious num-num bits. Hey, my tongue is numb. Honey, who are you talking to? Whoa! Got a split, kid. Eat up. Don't go, Chalky. I need you. Yeah, got my beeper. Got a motor. 